up guys this is back with another video today in this video i'm going to be reviewing the official pixel experience rom based on android pi on the redmi note 5 pro so without further ado let's make it happen and before starting off this video let me tell you that this is going to be a 60 fps video so make sure you hit that 720p or 1080p so let's do this and today in this video i'm going to be talking about the performance the battery life the ram management camera and all other aspects that i could cover so yeah let's do this so starting off the list with performance, this ROM does give great amount of performance and in terms of day to day usage, I never faced any kind of hiccups or stutters. Considering it's an Android 9.0 based ROM running on Redmi Note 5 Pro, this is just great. Take a look. This thing is just a definition of the term smooth AF. Just take a look at these transitions over here. Straight butter in my frank opinion. And even in terms of gaming performance, this ROM did quite well, I have to say. Here is the gameplay demo. So now let's talk RAM management here. Well, my unit of the Redmi Note 5 Pro has 4 GB of RAM. So in terms of like RAM management, it did pretty well in my opinion. And you can expect better results with the 6 GB variant if you have one. So here is the RAM management round and app open up speeds for you. So in terms of RAM management, as you just saw, no apps were removed from memory, so that's a great thing. Now let's talk about the camera. Well, as the stock camera on this ROM, we have the MI camera which has the AI stuff. So that's a great thing that MI camera is working super fine, which is the MIUI camera actually. But the, in the portrait mode, there is no like zooming thing which uses the secondary lens. And if you talk about that, Xiaomi actually removed it from their stable builds too. So I don't know when and how it could be working for you guys, but it's not working as of now. I mean the zooming in thing for portrait mode, I mean the crop. So yeah, that's it. That doesn't work. But over here, you can shoot 4K videos, you can shoot 1080p EIS videos and all other stuff like portrait mode in front camera, back camera. Everything is working fine. Here are some camera samples for you guys. Portrait selfie, positive you need it, normal picture taken with rear camera, HDR Pro Mode, 
HDR Live mode. This one is taken with the AI mode turned on. This is an example of the rear camera object portrait. So now let's talk about the battery life. Well, I was amazed. I was literally amazed by this battery life I was getting. I got almost 8 hours of screen on time or more than 8 hours of screen on time as you can see over here on the screen. Considering this is an Android Pie based 9.0 ROM, so that's a great thing. What do you expect more? And if you want some custom ROM kind of features, well there is none over here. No double tap to sleep, no status bar brightness control, no double tap on the home screen to like make the phone to sleep and no like swiping down on the home screen to get to the notification drawer or something. So yeah, that's that. But we have double tap to wake here as you can see. So that's it for the customizations. In terms of like hardware stuff which are working, well, I found the fingerprint scanner is working super fine as you can see. Let me just show you. As you can see, it just unlocks right away and all of the things is working super fine. The cameras, the IR blaster, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, every other thing is working fine. Now let's talk about some other things that I feel is missing over here. Like if you connect your headphones to your phone, it won't show you the headset icon on the status bar. So that's a sad thing. And there is no like vaulty logo or stuff on this ROM over here, like on the signal bar. And if you're talking about the HD stuff, which has been there for the Android Pie GSI, like it was just stuck in the status bar. It's not present over here, so it's not annoying anymore. So that's a great thing. And one more thing that I have noticed is you can't go to the recent apps panel from the app drawer. But this is not a missing feature or something of this ROM. This is Android Pie related stuff. So it's totally dependent on Google. So yeah, that's that. You can't go to the recent app panel when you're using the home gesture stuff. But you can do this gesture for quick recents. So yeah, that's that. And one thing that one bug that I have noticed when using the camera like several times, the torch simply goes away. Like when you pull down the notification sheet, it just becomes grey, you can't touch it or tap it or it just disables itself somehow. So yeah that's that but even a restart will do the job, I mean even a restart will fix it. So that's how it is as of now. And in terms of the stock launcher, well of course it has a pixel launcher and it has all other things like every other widgets and stuff is working super fine and you have google now cards, you have tap to hold functionality and all other stuff so you don't have to worry about anything. It's fast and snappy and fluid and it's just buttery smooth. You have to experience it yourself. Some particular apps like Mi Calculator simply doesn't work over here on this ROM. I think this is an Android Pie related compatibility issue. Xiaomi just needs to optimize these particular apps I guess for Android Pie. This is not a fault of this ROM at all. We have digital well-being over here which observes what you do on your phone and suggests you to take a break or something or just helps you if you have been using some particular apps since a very long period of time and if it detects that, it suggests you to do something else. The next thing which I am gonna talk about over here is banking apps like Google This is working super fine right after you install the ROM which is a great thing. And if you open Travel Checker app, it shows it supports Project Travel but no seamless system updates because of course it's a custom ROM not a GSI image. And the heads up animations looks dope over here, take a look. We have the Android P volume panels which comes from the sides of course. And Google Assistant is working fine over here as you can see. If you are curious about it, even Google Lens is there and works super fine. Here's a quick update. I just received a software update on this ROM and I'm gonna update it. I'm on 16th August 2018 build and I think the update is for 17th August 2018. So let me do it with the updater app. So once I went inside the system updates and tried to download it, the download speeds were too low to update it right now. Not because of my internet but because of the servers of Pixel Experience website. So I'll be updating the ROM later on and show you guys what's new in the next video. So stay tuned and subscribe to the channel for that. And make sure you hit that thumbs up button and the bell icon as well if you wanna keep them good videos coming towards you. So if you wanna flash this ROM I have to say just go for it it's just amazing. 
how the ROM performs on the Redmi Note 5 Pro, like you will never gonna go back to MIUI again. So that's how it is. That's what I had to say to you guys about this ROM. Let me know in the comments below that what do you think about this ROM. So that's been it. That's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching guys. This is Sito from KDN. Signing off for today and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.